China is well known for its futuristic maglev trains, which use electromagnets to propel vehicles at high speeds over tracks. With the rapid advancement of technology, modes of transportation are becoming more diverse and travel is increasing faster, from the initial carriage to cars, trains, and planes. Every technological innovation creates a qualitative leap in speed, and every time a new mode of transportation is born, it makes people feel incredible. What are the secret technological features of this future train? How is it possible for China to execute this? How much is China investing in their rail system? Stay tuned until the end of this video while we cover all of the exciting details. Recently, China plans to develop a new type of train with a speed 10 times that of high-speed rail and a range of up to 2,000 kilometers. The country has now unveiled its first suspended maglev line made of permanent magnets which engineers claim can keep a sky train afloat even in the absence of power. The Red Rail, a 2,600-foot experimental track, is located in Xinguo County, Shangxi Province in southern China. According to the South China Morning Post, it employs powerful magnets to generate a constantly repelling force strong enough to lift an 88-passenger train into the air. The suspended rail, unlike most existing maglev lines, operates at approximately 33 feet above ground. The train makes no physical contact with the rail as it moves beneath it silently at speeds of up to 2,000 km per hour. Because permanent magnets are used rather than electromagnets and there is no friction with the track, only a small amount of electricity is required to propel the train. The track emits far less electromagnetic radiation than traditional maglev lines, which can harm the environment and the health of nearby residents. According to Shangxi University of Science and Technology researchers, it is also much cheaper to build, with construction costs only about tenth of what it takes to build a subway. The technological feat is made possible by China's abundance of rare earth elements, which are required to manufacture the train's permanent magnets. The addition of rare earth elements to magnets significantly extends their lifespan. Neodymium, for example, can reduce magnetism loss to less than 5% over a century. China has nearly 40% of the world's known reserves of rare earth elements, more than twice as much as its neighbor Vietnam in second place. It also mines far more of these metals than any other country, with just six state-owned Chinese firms producing 85% of the world's refined rare earths in 2020. Local transportation officials are currently testing red rail on a half-mile stretch of track in Xinguo, but plan to expand this to 4.7 miles once the initial tests are completed. Most domestic underground lines have a top speed of 50 miles per hour, but a permanent magnet maglev train drive entirely by AI could reportedly reach speeds of up to 2,000 km per hour. The Super Bullet maglev train is more than twice as fast as the Eurostar fleet and can cover the distance between London and Paris in 47 minutes at top speed. According to Southwest Jiaotong University experts, it employs high-temperature superconducting or HTS maglev technology as opposed to the low-temperature technology used by Germany and Japan in their maglev trains. The Chinese version, according to the team, is lighter and has a simpler structure. It's also less expensive to manufacture and operate. The engineers believe that the HTS technology is better suited for futuristic vacuum transportation, which could involve ultra-high-speed maglev trains zipping through vacuum tubes at speeds exceeding 1,000 km or 621 miles per hour. More than two-thirds of the world's high-speed railways are in China. According to China Central Television Station, China has the world's largest high-speed railway network, which spans 35,000 kilometers as of 2019. More than two-thirds of the world's total distance is covered. The total railway coverage in the country is 139,000 kilometers, which is enough to wrap the Earth three times around the equator. China is heavily investing in the development of its rail system. According to a government plan, it plans to spend no less than 2.8 trillion yuan or 307 billion pounds between 2022 and 2026 to build no less than 23,000 kilometers of new railways. According to Xinhua News Agency, Beijing completed its largest ever investment in railway construction between 2013 and 2017. A total of nearly 30,000 kilometers of track were completed, with more than half of them being high-speed rail at a total cost of 3.9 trillion yuan or 428 billion pounds. The Fuxing or Rejuvenation is China's newest high-speed train model, traveling at a speed of 350 kilometers or 217 miles per hour. The model preceding Fuxing is known as Hexi, which means harmony. 
What are your thoughts about China's super-fast feature train? Does China have the potential to surpass Japan's train systems? Please leave your opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with others and subscribe to our channel for future updates.